Fire Signs, Aries, Sag and Leo. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thanks so much for being with me here today. We're going to be looking at what your person is truly thinking and truly feeling. So we'll suss out what's going on in their private thoughts and the feelings that they may not necessarily be revealing to you at this stage. So it is intended for the fire signs. Uh, if you've got fire, sun, moon, rising, Venus in your chart, then this one's going to be for you. It is a timeless reading, so we'll see what comes up in this current energy. If you enjoy this content, please show your support by leaving behind a like. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and join my YouTube fam. Hit the bell notification button to get updates for readings for your sign and your element. Otherwise, if you did want a private reading, please feel free to email me. Uh, also feel free to join the channel for membership. You will get access to member videos and extended readings as well. So let's jump into this fire signs and see what's going on with your person's thoughts and feelings. What's really going on? So what are they thinking? Let's look at... Okay, it's going to be thinking and feeling okay so the temperance strength the emperor and the lovers so strong sagittarius leo aries gemini coming through so if you are dealing with one of these signs this could be more applicable for you uh, or it could be speaking to the lead. Well, I mean, all of you really, but it could be speaking to these signs more. Okay, so straight away, I get this person, I'm getting demanding. Okay, so I'm getting someone that is thinking about either being demanding or feels like you are being quite demanding towards them. Now, it's come to a point where they're really struggling with it fire signs so i'm getting someone that you sort of have to go easy on maybe i do believe they're going to communicate this to you they're thinking about it the lovers is here so they can be thinking that you are a twin flame or a soulmate and you're worth sort of um, enduring this for but i'm also getting a sense that they're going to open up to you the lovers is communication they're going to open up to you and reveal this they want peace I'm getting a conversation, someone's thinking, I don't want this drama, and I think they're going to communicate that. Like, I had this a lot with my previous person, I don't want to go back to that drama that we had before, I don't want that anymore. They're trying to steer away from some sort of demanding energy. Now, it's been around you for quite some time, I feel, so it's coming up in the recent past for them. I feel like with the Temperance card, that's telling me they want peace, um, but they're being really honest, so you have to appreciate that honesty. So they're, being, they're, they're trying to be honest with themselves and, and they're trying to be honest with you um, about this situation and where it's sort of going, right? So there's an honesty that you have to appreciate. Now, they're trying to be strong and they're trying to think these thoughts of strength. But I'm getting someone who's potentially getting a little bit jealous here. Now, I don't know if you've been spending more time with friends and family or spending more time at work or doing your own thing and that's gone really well for you but it's taken away from spending time with this person somehow and it's bugging them it really is it's starting to really put them in a place of displacement and that's what i think that they're getting these thoughts what they're truly thinking they're thinking that this is a very significant relationship for them but it's almost like wow man i have to try real hard for this person or this is harder than it should be so there's a bit of a like a, a disclaimer here with this relationship they want it and i i feel like they think you're their soulmate they think you're the definition this relates relationship is a soulmate relationship but they're questioning certain things about being demanding being jealous and they're trying to they want more peace they keep thinking like how do i bring more peace and less drama into this relationship that's what i'm getting in terms of their thoughts Feelings, page of pentacles, queen of wands, more Leo energy coming through, ten of wands and the page of cups, Pisces. Pisces energy, very emotional energy. So this person's feeling very sensitive and they're starting to care a lot more about you. But 
there's a moodiness. So I'm seeing their emotion, emotions fluctuate very quickly. One day they're feeling one way, the next day they're feeling another. They're still trying to get a grapple on these emotions, so you'll have to be patient with them there. Um, they do have two pages in their emotions, which tells me they're experiencing experiencing emotions or things they don't really know how to handle or they don't know how to respond to. So they don't really know how to maneuver the situation from here. You know, maybe they haven't been in a more drama filled relationship, maybe. Um, or, you know, they've had a lot of this come down on them and they're like, well, what am I doing here? Like, what do I do? Where do I go from here? Like, how do I process that? So they're going to make a lot of mistakes based on their feelings or not being able to express themselves healthily. So I feel like they're withholding some feelings here as well. That jealousy is coming through with the Queen of Wands, but also like this immense sexual attraction that they can't explain. Possibly never had it here before, here fire signs. So they're feeling a lot of these powerful feelings. And I get that this is pro you're probably the first person in a long time that's made them as jealous as they are, or at least be more possessive over you, more protective. Like, where are you at? What are you doing? What can I help you with? You know, and it's a lot for them. And that I'm telling you, there's some strain here. The Ten of Wands is like things under pressure. This is uncertainty. This is lack of clarity. This is things getting very heavy. So it's almost like this person has a heavy heart. Now, I'm going to link it back to the fact that they don't know how to express themselves emotionally. Like they're feeling something and they might just completely avoid the situation and be like, leave me alone. I need to be on my own. Or they might be feeling very happy and then this like pessimism comes in with the Ten of Wands. It's like putting a burden on things. It's like putting a damper on things. So it's like they're, they're not handling themselves well here. Now, it could be other stuff going on with them, but emotionally, they have to learn. You can't come in and save them, he fire signs. It's something that they need to do on their own um, with this situation. So they need to go through these emotions. They need to feel it to heal it. They need to work through it. And they need to come to a place where they're able better to express themselves. Otherwise, if they're going to be a page in their emotions, it's going to be hard to read. Now, there's there's a fluctuation here that you're going to see. So their moods are going to change very frequently. And that's to do with them trying to feel positive and trying to keep the peace. But at the same time, internally trying to manage their own crazy chaotic emotions. So... Um, just know that they have this internal battle. They're trying to be better and understand their emotions better. But of course, it's going to take time um, for them. So I'm going to leave it there, um, fire signs. So thank you again, Aries, Sag and Leo for tuning in. It does mean a lot. Um, if you are after a private reading, please feel free to shoot me an email. I am currently accepting those. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very soon. So thanks again, everyone. Much love and bye for now.